Working on the back of this F-150 here, the rear brakes, it's disc brakes, but it actually has a drum inside the rotor here. They call it drum and hat, and that's where your parking brake is inside. Now, those little bra parking brake shoes, this particular driver does not use the parking brake very often. So they build up rust inside. I can't get this drum off right now. I, it's moving, but it's really caught on those little brake shoes. So what I'm gonna do is I'm gonna, there's a little access hole in the backing plate here. I'm gonna back off those brake shoes so I can pull the drum off without destroying any parts. Now some vehicles, like the one I did the other day, same system, but as you can see, Boy, this is rusted again also. But with this case, it had a little access hole right here. There's a rubber plug in there. Take the rubber plug off. You can adjust, you know, adjust those brake shoes so that you can pull the drum off. Then before you put it back on, we have to adjust them back up again. But in this case right here, it made it a lot easier because it's right on the right on the on the rotor itself here. Now you notice the plug is missing. Well, I used that rubber plug on the new rotor when we put it on. So let me show you where how we how we can get at the adjustment on this particular vehicle. The small hole here has got a rubber plug on the slot right here. So we take the rubber plug off. Once we get that rubber plug off. I use a brake spoon, they call this a brake spoon, a, a, a adjusting spoon. I get in here and I can back off the adjustment on there to make that, that rotor drum assembly come off very easily. Well, that made the job a lot easier once we backed off those brake shoes a little bit. But as you can see, this driver does not use his parking brake very often. But that doesn't mean you don't have to inspect the system. Make sure the shoes are in good shape. Make sure all the hardware, the return springs, the hold on springs, make sure all that stuff's in good shape because you still have to have it operable when you get done with the brake job.